Hello and welcome to a video by Kentucky Reptile Zoo. Uh, today we're addressing some questions that we get frequently about what is actually going on while Jim is extracting. And the point that people ask about the most is this one right here where Jim has his hands on the venom glands and it really looks as if he's squeezing the venom out. Well, today we're going to show you that that's actually not exactly what is happening. So during uh, envenomation, when a snake actually bites something, you know, either prey item or envenomates a human, the snake is determining how much venom to inject. And the way it controls the amount of venom that it injects is by using the muscles that surround the venom gland. So there are actually several muscles around the venom gland on each side, so some on this side and some on that side, of the snake's head. And when the snake bites something, there's a very dynamic process during which the snake controls the placement of its fangs, during which, which it controls the placement of other parts of its skull, and during which it controls how much venom is uh, pushed from the glands along the duct and then through the fangs into whatever it is it's biting. So during an extraction, that same bite and inject occurs. And Jim is sort of taking advantage of that muscle contraction when he's putting his hand on the snake's head. So during that time when he's actually touching the top of the snake's head, he can feel the snake itself contracting those muscles. And as it contracts those muscles, he follows that motion with his fingers. So sometimes he'll say it's like holding the faucet on. So it's basically as the snake contracts the gland, he follows that motion with his fingers and it keeps the muscles in the contracted position for maybe a second or half a second longer than the snake would under its own you know, decision. So he's not pushing the venom out, but because it's synchronized with the snake pushing the venom out, that appearance uh, happens. So in these video clips we're gonna show you, he's waited to put his fingers up on top of the head so that you can see the, the contraction that the snake is making. So normally when he's just kind of going along, he puts his hand up there relatively quickly because there's no reason to mess around. But during these clips, we waited so that you can see those muscle contractions happening. All right, let's see the videos. So here we have an extraction from a Western Diamondback rattlesnake, and this is the moment before Jim would start. And if you watch, we're gonna slow it down again. Just inside the circle that we're gonna put up, you will be able to see the snake actually contract some of the muscles involved in giving venom. And you will see a little bit of venom has come out during that exact moment. So here we have a lancehead viper, basically during the same moment. And this one looks a little bit different, but again, you can see the contraction of the snake's muscles around the venom gland and the fang. So if you watch right inside the two circles, you will see a contraction first at the front circle, close to the eye, and then, there it is, and then you will see contractions further back, closer to his fingers. Now we have two Russell's Vipers to show you. Uh, this first one, you can see the kind of two-part contraction, like in the Lancehead Viper, the first one is gonna be just under the eye, and we have that marked for you there. And then the second one is towards the back of the jaw, again, just kind of like what the Bothrops or Lancehead Viper did there. And you can see this one kind of works a little bit. And then in the second snake that's coming up here in a moment, you will be able to see that Jim uses that exact placement as where to put his fingers. So here's this next one. You can see the contractions happening. And then right inside the circle is where Jim is putting his finger in order to encourage more venom to come out. Here in this last clip, we're addressing one other thing that we hear, which is that people are concerned the snake is hurting its mouth on the funnel. And here you can see that the snake is moving its fangs completely independently of what Jim is doing. He is allowing it to decide to bite, and here it does decide to bite and inject some venom, and you can see it actually pulls Jim's hand forward there. And that's because even though he is restraining them and holding them up to the funnel, he is allowing them to decide how to position their fangs and when to inject venom. 
And when they get into a good place where they've kind of settled, then he's going to put his hand forward just like we started to see or like you normally see in extractions and proceed with the extraction. Thanks all for watching. Remember to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.